we are going to Union Mall, Terminal 21, and Siam Square. Let the shopping begin. Again. And again. No, no, no more again. It's just another again and then we're broke. We're already broke. We're here at Union Mall. This mall was not originally in our itinerary, uh, but we're following a suggestion from our friend to give this mall a visit because the clothes are edgier and more trendy. So let's check it out. Hey, so um, this is definitely a place that you should visit. I think that there's so much more of a variety here. Pretty much like a cafe, cine, leisure, orchard, Singapore. Very catered to teens and the youth. I'm so happy, I managed to bargain a lot today at uh, Junior Mall. These three items are too short, a magic top, and another magic top plus a thousand baht. But I managed to bargain it down, you know, I consider that if I buy three, can you give me 900? And they three! Another trick if you want to bargain at Junior Mall is to be fierce. I saw this skirt at 320 baht, and I told her, 300 I buy. And she bought it. I mean like, I bought it, but she bought mine. You know what I mean. This skirt and this dress cost like 480 in the shade. So I managed to bargain it down to 400 baht. So I really saved myself a lot of money here at Union Mall. Okay, okay, I'm not gonna talk about everything because like, uh, there's no point bringing out everything. I didn't really bargain much. And in comparison, I suck at bargaining. Uh, let me tell you my horror story, eh? So, um, this shirt, like, actually it's really good quality. It was going for 200 baht. So I asked him, uh, 150 can? He said no, so I said, uh, please, he took the shirt from me, put it on the hanger and put it back on the rack, he said no, no. Then I was like... So did you buy it for 100, 200? Yeah, I think I walked one round and I came back there and it. <laughs> then he gave me the face, you know, like the... Face, like the, I knew you would come back for it face, so like, I mean, I guess if you know... Why? Why you didn't give him that know. satisfaction? I couldn't stop thinking about it, and I saw it again, and I was like, okay, I buy like, 200, what's that, like 8 dollars? I think that Gemini knows this, right? That in Union Mall, uh, the salespeople converse by calculator speed, right? So all you need to do, right? The thing is, they quote you like 450. This is what they show you. You say, no, 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 no. I want 400. And then they'll think about it, and then, okay, maybe 400 works. You know, converse in numbers. which is a mall that's very famous for having different levels themed in different countries and everyone for being pretty pricey so don't expect to be buying a lot of things here Most shops here sell guy shirts as well as computers, shorts, things like that If you're looking for like, you know, accessories and jewellery it's time to go to the A lot from Japan, you can see from the Japanese decor that we're actually in the ladies section I really think you should try that on. How much is this one? 200? Can go 180? 180 we buy. I cannot fit my sale. I will actually buy it. Really cheap? Really cheap sale? Okay, okay, I, I buy, I buy. <laughs> <laughs> really cheap? You can look at the river shop with me. Walking down this road, I feel like it's very Haji Lane. You know, you're walking down like a very, um, what do you call it, like a very vintage street. Blocks of like graffiti, and then on the side there's like all these like very clean, sweet shops. So if you're into vintage accessories and bags, I think some might be the place for you. Okay, so we thought that Siam Square was just a perimeter, but actually it's like more like a village. I think there's like rows of streets in the main road, the side roads, uh, the laneways, the, and they're like you know mini malls even at the side. So good tip when you're shopping at Siam Square is not to get separated from your friends and be careful. So we've come to the end of our Bangkok trip, sadly. And we've decided to pick up five of our favourite items just to wrap things up and show you what our favourite buys are. So my first favourite buy is this outfit that I got. It's actually like, you know, a 
top and a bottom. Your hips are the frame. Oh, yeah. Should I talk about it again? Okay, so I got it for 600 baht at Union Mall. What I like about it is that you can wear it separately, you don't have to wear them together all the time. My second favorite buy is actually this golden skirt and this top. Which I got for 700 baht. My third favorite buy is actually this romper that I got from the early morning Patuna market. And my fourth favorite buy is actually these three skirts, which I got for about 200 plus baht. 200 plus baht for everything, not one piece each. And my last buy is again another outfit that I picked from a shop, a yellow mustard skirt and a long sleeve white floral top. My first one is this blue high collar dress, which I got from the early morning. Pratuna Market, which is an awesome place. I love that place. I liked it so much I got it in two different colours. No, another two different colours, so that's three. I got it in pink and black as well. Another one of my favourite buys is this Maxi. Uh, I can imagine wearing it to a night function actually. Yes. And I liked it so much, I got it in six colours! <laughs> another thing I got is this furry top. So super soft. Uh, Dre and I each got one. Whoa. I love lasers. So, I bought this slim cut white collar lining. It was 450, which I thought was very reasonable because I mean in Singapore you buy a good blazer that can cost you like 30, 40 dollars, even more. My last favorite buy is this bag. It was 450, then I was just like, I just dared it a little bit. I was just like, uh, you give me 400, I buy. You give me 400, I buy. Then I think maybe your business was a bit slow, then they were just like, hana, 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 then they gave it to me. I hope it's not a ripoff of any bread because I've never seen this bag outside before. Just like I go back to Singapore, people say I buy fake bread, but I don't recognize the bread, so. I think that rounds off our trip and we are really sad to leave but we are so broke I don't think we can stay any longer yeah. or we can't yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We just hope that you've enjoyed it as much as we have